Rico, Randy, you guys have been watching the system, predicting the system, that overnight yeah, we Randy. had that history made. Yeah, it, we actually hit blizzard status. So there are some criteria. I'll go over those here in just a second. But uh, we did for a few hours have those strong winds and falling snow. And right now you can see here that the snow has come to an end. Get this necklace off my microphone so I don't bother you the whole morning. Can you tell we were rushing around the last minute? There was a bit of a blizzard party <laughs> in the weather center when all of this uh, happened. So as we look at what's going on right now at the radar, we have the snow now back up toward Columbus. So our falling snow has come to an end, but blowing snow will likely still continue to be an issue for us over the next several hours as those strong winds continue. So this is a three hour time lapse. You can see what's happened over the last several hours. We're really in the thick of it. Midnight, 1, 2 a.m. And then those snow showers pulling off to the north. I'll switch this over to a wide view and you can see currently some of the heavier snow bands drifting in the direction of Columbus right now. So the bigger accumulations here in the early morning hours are going to be extended to the central and portions of Northeast Ohio. So those deeper blue bands that you're seeing Columbus up to Cleveland, that's who's seeing the brunt of the storm. Now I'm keeping my eye on some of these light snow showers that are popping up on the uh, radar back toward Indianapolis. We do still have the potential for some light bursts of snow, but when they're driven by 40 to 45 mile per hour winds, that can once again cause visibility issues. So as we go through the morning, if you are venturing out, and be aware there could be some times where the visibility drops again, courtesy of some what would normally be very light snow. Again, the heavier snow currently over top of Columbus and up toward Cleveland and Akron in our area. Let's check out the brutal cold, shall we? Our temperatures now dropping. Let's see, is it below zero everywhere? No, not everywhere. We've got two degrees below zero in Cincinnati. It's seven degrees below zero currently in Versailles, Indiana. These are your actual air temperatures, but you know, the brutal cold is here and the winds right now are steady winds about 25 miles per hour. You can see in Kentucky have dropped back to about 20 miles an hour. So do you really want to do the wind chill math? Let's see what it feels like outside right now across greater Cincinnati. Most places feeling like around 25 degrees below zero to any sort of exposed skin. So uh, we're looking at these wind chills staying in that 20 to 30 degree below zero range as we go throughout the day. So history was made during this storm. This is the largest six hour temperature drop recorded for CVG at eight o'clock. We were at 41 degrees by 2 a.m. We were at two degrees and continuing to fall. So the temperature dropped nearly 40 degrees in six hours. As you can see just in the last couple of hours, our temperatures continuing to fall. We were at zero at 3 a.m. and now at two degrees below zero. So today's planner with the wind chill, obviously currently feeling like 28 below officially at the airport uh, through the morning. If you do venture outside, make sure you're wearing all of the layers and of course try to take it safe on the road. So we're going to track the conditions on the roadways, of course, as we go through the morning.